Good morning. Good morning. I'm Cindy. I'm Sherry. And we are Buckle, Buckle Up Buttercup. Buttercup. So happy Easter. Tomorrow is Easter. And what are we doing? A little spring planting. And why are we doing it under the covered part of the garage or the deck? Because and it's snowing. It's snowing. It's freezing. <laughs> it's in the mid 30s. And it's snowing. And it's windy. And it's not going to slow down. And we're breaking. 80 to 90 year records with this weather but who would have thought we're in southeastern washington and if this is desert country usually by this time we are having fairly balmy days maybe some cool nights and a frost once in a while <laughs> until um, mid-may but nothing Ooh. like this this is i've been here uh, 58 years and, and it's I've never seen it like this before. So this is very unusual for our area, and, but is. we've got a plant and we had this already planned. So we are going to plant in our cedar craft planter that I put together and it was very easy to put it together. It was not bad. I followed the steps carefully, but you know, it probably took conservatively an hour. Oh. I mean, it's not bad at all. It was, That's not bad. It was really easy. But one thing I did, just to be safe, because I didn't want to scratch up on the concrete. I didn't want to mar up the outside of the wood. So I actually took it, all the pieces inside mm -hmm. and assembled it in the living room on the carpet. And it's narrow enough, so it's just, and it's on rollers. So it could just slide right through awesome. the door. Awesome, nice. Really well. It's not like building a boat in the basement. It's not like building a boat in the basement. No, you can actually maneuver this one easily through the doorways and the hallways. Um, two of the <coughs> wheels do have locking ability, which is nice. Well, that is very nice, yeah. seeing as how your patio slopes down. Yep, and you can choose which wheels you want to be the locking ones because they just screw in. So very nice, very this nice. This is going to be a fun little project. And even though we are freezing, you know, other than maybe the potential of a little shakiness from the freezing that we're experiencing, um, I think we're gonna have fun. We're gonna go ahead and plant this. Now, let's remember that Cindy is a beginner gardener, so I um, went on my own without supervision of Sherry <laughs> to get the plants. So we'll see how we do, and we'll see as time goes what grows and what I managed to kill off. But So I'm know. a fairly, um, experienced gardener but i know that some of the things that i will tell cindy some of you will say oh my gosh no and that's because we all live in different areas we all learn different things so i will help her out to the best of my ability and if you have comments about something that we've mm -hmm. said or done uh, that you think is just horrible let us know or if you really like tip. what we're doing yeah yeah tips suggestions <laughs> um anything like that so i have a couple of questions okay so i know that a lot of times when we buy these kits through the mail uh you didn't get it through the mail but no you I, did. it I was went a to kit. Costco in person and lugged it off the shelf um i do know that sometimes we don't have enough screws and bolts uh, whatever um, for all of the holes that it has right did you have that problem I did not that's a good question I did not have that problem I had they sent me a little wrench that you really only use for the wheels and I probably could have done the wheels without it but it was handy just very simple little flat wrench and I had a couple extra screws left over and uh, the holes only thing were all screwed, uh, were all drilled. They were properly. all pretty drilled, and, and they were they all, and lined, they all up. lined up. Oh, wow! Um, that's the only nice. thing that I needed to provide was a Phillips screwdriver. But I will say, um, it has these little caps on each corner, and I was careful to line up the holes and make sure that the two sides that were coming together were flush because there could have been a little bit, you know, even a couple millimeters will make a difference when you're putting a cap on if one board is lower. So I was careful to make sure they were all flush, but um, and this the metal beautiful. part was drilled, the wood was not drilled. 
So okay. Yeah. So did so you, you you have to screw it through? Yeah, but it's so easy. Okay. It's fairly soft wood, so it was no right. problem at all. Right. And um, it it feels sturdy. It looks really nice. Everything like like Cindy said is nice and flush. Mm -hmm. So so I we'll, think this is a we'll thumbs see up. It is a thumbs up. It, it's really nice so far. So we'll see how we do. One thing that I did have to be careful of that I double checked with Sherry on was I bought potting soil for the elevated beds, for the raised beds. And that the is typical important. typical soil is just too heavy. Mm -hmm. So we have three bags of soil. Mm -hmm. We will see how we do. I and think that should be fine. Yep. So. All we're, right. So we're gonna get to planting and put my gloves on and open up the first bag. All right. Dodge a few snowflakes. We might, we the might snowflakes uh, are getting bigger, <laughs> and we might step in and out of uh, view of the camera, but we will be back momentarily. <clears throat> so just uh, you know, we're supposed to have up to thirty let's mile an hour winds today, along with the snow. Yeah, so it's a lovely spring. In so Playmate and I were going to go nursery hopping today. Oh, were you? Yeah, and Did we decided change? that we are not going to do that. Good idea. Yeah, just a little bit cold for doing that. Yeah. He is afraid that he's going to miss all the good plants. And I said, well, well most he'll, of the he'll nurseries... He'll get the new ones after the ones that are out there now, frostbite. Right, and most of the good nurseries have several deliveries during the season. Oh, sure. So, yeah. He should be fine. In our area, you can't miss the good ones because they're continually replenished. Filled up a good portion of it. Yeah. This is nice soil. Yeah, it is. This is Harvest Select. And where did you get Bonnie, that? Bonnie Plants. I got it at Home Depot. Oh, and we, we, most of us are very familiar with Bonnie Plants. Yeah. We, a lot of the nurseries around here get their bedding plants Smoking. from Bonnie. so you don't have to watch us put all these bags of soil in. Oh, we'll see how fast or slow it goes, how boring it is. How boring it is, we're not boring. Oh! <laughs> see, the brake is not set. The brake is not set. I think I'll put my foot against there. Yeah, I did too. Okay, here we go. The last bag has given us the biggest challenge. Well, that's because we have to lift it up higher. Oh, yeah. There so oh, these bags, perfect. each one of these bags is one and a half cubic feet. So that's four and a half cubic feet. For those of you who can't do math as fast as I can. <laughs> <laughs> All, All right. right. Calculator brains. Yeah, sure. So we have lettuce, a little six pack of romaine. Okay, so that's for placement. We have, we can get all of our little guys yeah, here. Yeah, all of our little eights and nines. We have purple basil. Purple basil, yummy, yummy. We have some curled parsley. Curled 
grown parsley. We have some cherry tomatoes. Cherry tomatoes. Now the tomato. I feel like I'm really serving food. <laughs> I so would, who have the cherry tomatoes? <laughs> I would highly recommend that the tomato goes in a in a large pot okay, rather than here because cherry tomatoes get it, it would like? fill this up and it would shade all of your other plants. Okay. Which these plants wouldn't mind being shaded, but it might it, it well, would also prevent six. them from um Flourishing. Flourishing. And there are six little starts of the romaine in there. So yeah. I also have some round planters with different soil. So maybe we'll put the tomato in one of those. Mm -hmm. And what's this guy? Oh, this is the sweet snacking pepper. Yeah. That'll be nice. Yeah. I think that'll be good. Yeah. And this one is the Carmen Italian sweet pepper. Oh, okay. So we have a couple peppers. So I would, I would, I think I would recommend putting one at each end. Okay. And these. One thing here. I don't want to do is overplant the planter. Exactly. And I think when you're looking at a container and you just have things so sparse. Yeah. Because they're little, you think, oh, I can put in a couple more, but it affects. The, am I right? It, am you I are wrong. You are absolutely right. And and we had this issue Did when I worked. She said I was absolutely right. Yeah. But, <laughs> She's not Save just another pretty face. Save this moment. <laughs> Mark is chalking on the calendar. But when I worked in the nursery, people would come in and with these landscaping plans oh. that somebody had done for them. And I don't know if you're familiar with what a tam juniper is, but when oh, they're yeah. in the little one gallon pot, they so they're little. so cute. And the landscapers would have them put 20 into a, a very small space. And I, we would say, mm -mm, no, you half. really, oh, yeah. cut it in uh, to about a tenth because tan junipers get it's huge, huge, just huge. And especially in our area, they yeah. flourish here. So anyway okay, yeah so you i'm gonna want take to make your sure. advice and we're gonna hold off on the cherry tomato i'm gonna set him aside yeah okay yeah put him in a round planter yeah okay all right here we go okay so, so these I would, guys are on the ends these will be on the ends and they will get probably about so big oh cool okay mm -hmm. so you'll want to put like your lettuce i would put three in the front three in the back and then I put these two guys right here because your okay. your um, parsley will also like the room and so will yeah, your the basil. The basil, the basil okay. will get pretty nice size too. Alrighty. So So do we need a little trowel or should we just use our fingers? We can use our fingers. Oh <laughs> the wind is now blowing the snow yeah. over onto us. <laughs> I never thought I'd be spring planting dodging <laughs> snowflakes. So, yeah, so this I think is nice can... loose soil. It's mixed in with the. It's a assortment of different things, and it's Keep moist. It loose mm -hmm. and it's moist. So, which is nice because uh, this way we don't have to water before we plant. Right. We can go ahead and plant these and then water them. And don't forget this planter oh, comes that's with a little right. water reservoir right here. So we're going to fill through this hole. There's a reservoir at the bottom of this planter, so it's going to be watered from the bottom up. Now, these are very young plants, so they're just starting to yep. curl around the bottom. Yep. But what I highly recommend is taking those roots and just taking them out of the curl. Letting Otherwise, them go free. Yeah, and this soil is relatively loose. Otherwise, I would score the sides also to let roots come out through the sides. So we're planting that pretty flush right up, not covering the base of the plant, but right up flush with the top yeah. of the loophole. And I'm, I'm going to leave these markers here. So oh, absolutely. I, I don't forget what we've done. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, so let's go down I'll let you go ahead and. Yeah, I'm going to come in a little bit because it's a, got that watering instrument there. And I would take these two bottom leaves off. Okay. 
right like that. And I would plant it right up to this. Oh, here we come up part of the base mm -hmm. of the plant. Okay, yeah, we'll see part that of it. Contradicts what I did. Well, no, for this for one. Other for this one. Okay. Yeah. See, see now this you've is got, a little more root bound. Uh huh. And it's this isn't even root bound, but it it's starting to curl around. More and so, so, yeah. So we're gonna just go right in here. Yeah. And you said up to the plant a little bit. So I'm gonna move it there away you go. a little bit. Uh -huh. more. Counter sink you just a little bit there, buddy. Perfect. Looks good. More marker. These containers can be used for new starts. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Always save your Always containers. Always save the containers. Okay, shall we do the I would do metal the center now? ones. Uh huh. And then this one I would plant just right even with the soil level now. You, you wouldn't okay. want to plant that any deeper. Okay, so this is our curled parsley. Please don't some good. No, oh, yeah. it's See, this fine. This is pretty good. Yeah. We're just getting started there. Maybe a little bit deeper. Good enough, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Plants love to have you talk to them, sing to them. Yeah. They don't. They they are tone deaf. They don't mind if you how you sing. Oh, so I could sing to you them. You could they, even sing to them, and they wouldn't curl up. And, and my girlfriend Sue, who we always tease, uh -huh. and ask not to sing. <laughs> There's even girlfriends. she could sing to the plants. They would love it. Say thank you to Sherry Sue. <laughs> I don't think she ever watches these. So. <laughs> ah, she's too busy. All right. Yeah, there we go. Looking good. All righty. Here we go. Flush with this guy, too? I would say, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> now, um, basil is, roots very easily. Um, so if you wanted more plants, you could just trim off some of the big ones and, and put them in start, water. Get some starts going, okay? Yeah, put them in water, let them root, and then start some more. Yeah, well, maybe I will do that and I'll give you a start. That would be awesome. Okay. In fact, that would probably even be good. So where you would always want to trim these is where you see another set of leaves coming out. Sure. So it's you like would you trim them when you put right for anything. And then you would put this part in the water and it will root. Okay. Well we will do that. Do you want to start with the lettuce? Yeah, sure. Okay. A three for you and three for me. And I, so I would stagger them. Sure, so the roots have. Well, not only that, but plants. sunlight Breathing. and, and yeah. yeah. Okay. Now these will, luckily these lettuces, these, these are beautiful by the way. Um, they, they'll grow pretty much straight up. So they're not gonna take a whole lot of space. Okay. And I found these at Lowe's as well. Or Home Depot, sorry. And both of Home those. Home Depot for the soil and Home Depot for the starters. And both of those uh, stores, nurseries, nursery departments, take very nice care of their plants. Yeah. So I never have any qualms about um, buying from them, especially in the early part of the season. Towards the end of the season, all of the nurseries get kind of <clears throat> can place it about keeping things well watered, but yeah. that's understandable. Well, in our that. area, when it's 110, who wants to be out there watering plants? But they need it. Yes, they, they need do. it yeah. more than ever then. More than ever. But by that time, everything should be planted, right? By yeah. By that time of year. Yeah. Yeah. So Here in this area, you don't want to plant gardener. when it's hot. Right. <clears throat> okay. Guy. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I don't know if you can see the snow blowing across here, but here we are. 
This is lovely. Oh, just lovely. Just lovely. This, this I think I got more closer. <laughs> you did a really great job. Oh, I don't know. Just put them in. All right. That's okay. beautiful. Voila. And uh, Cindy's going to cover these. Even though they're under the shelter, she's going to cover them when it's so cold. For, for a week or so. And just to protect them. During the day, she'll, she'll uncover them so that they can get yes, the sunlight. Can. Right. And then in well, the evening. Hopefully we're enduring this for about another three days and then it's going to start warming up. It'll be in the 50s, right? Yeah. 50s, 60s. We'll start to. moving toward our typical. That's what we days. thought this week we were going to be. We did. <laughs> crazy. So, okay. uh, so hopefully um, maybe Cabana Boy can can uh, help you out with uncovering these uncovering in the morning, in the morning. And okay. covering them back up. Yeah. Well, I will just ask the band boy if he's willing to do that. <laughs> this is, I'm, I'm really impressed with this box. It's really nice. This is just a lovely box I think for, it's a good starter for me. people who live maybe I don't have in, a designated spot in the yard to garden, so yeah. it was going to be container gardening of some sort anyway. So And for people who might live in an apartment, have little a little patio or something, this is just perfect. Yeah. And actually can grow quite a few things. You really can. So and Or it would be perfect for a little herb garden. Anything yes, like that. Absolutely. So, so then, okay, so then we're going to put some water in it and we'll check back next time and see what, how our progress is. And um, I will also post uh, some pictures, probably maybe while um, while we were. Oh, am I? <laughs> while while we were jumping. With the <laughs> <of love>. well, <laughs> While we were um, dumping soil in here, um, instead of you having to watch that, I'll post some pictures um, of the, the assembly. Well, you will already pieces. see them. <laughs> there so, you go. Anyway. Okay, so we're going to say goodbye for now. Have a blessed Easter, yes. and I hope the weather warms up around the country for you, too. Yeah. And uh, happy planting. Happy planting. Thank Don't you forget for joining us. us. Yes, thank you so much. We appreciate your watching. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, yes. and leave comments. And if leave you don't comments. agree with the things that I've said to Cindy, um, or if you have some additional uh, tips and hints, we, we'd, we'd love, love to, to hear, hear them. them. So, so we'll see ya. Bye. Bye.